Fans Web, it's a chat, a brew, and as if on cue, a big black cock. There's the bush. What are you doing? Mm, what a good boy. <laughs> right, so we have the chat, we have the brew, and we have the big black dog here. And uh, just a little bit different, I also have a couple of. <laughs> nearly not the cup off we have a couple of uh, chocolate chip brioche rolls which depending on how I feel I may indulge in during the course of a little video they are very nice indeed anyway um, what do we have what do I have to talk about this week uh, ooh, dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm just trying to think. Well, Kickstarter. <coughs> um, the Cthulhu card game Kickstarter is uh, very, 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 very slow moving. It's just got over the 20,000 mark. Um, I'm in and out about that one. Really not sure. Um, I'll see how it goes. If it's if it doesn't do too much, I'll uh, I might back out yet. I don't know yet. Um, I'm in. I'm in two minds about that. But mind you, saying that for the price, I might as well go for it. Um, but the uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse Kickstarter, <coughs> it will be. A, I think it is. That's pounding ahead. Um, it's just well, it came up when we. Uh, yesterday, I think it did. It beat. It went over the seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar mark. The next stretch goal is the final stretch goal, which will be a million. Fingers crossed. There's loads of stuff opened up for that. Loads and loads of stuff opened up for that. And with that one, there's not going to be any. There's not going to be many, if any, add-ons, according to uh, Greater Than Games. So. Uh, no extras to um, to think about. Oh, my computer's just decided to kick in. <laughs> I've had it doing uh, scans and whatnot and uh, updates, and uh, it's it's just taken about uh, ten minutes to actually start up with all the stuff it's been doing. Oh uh, well, um, yeah. So uh, that's that. Uh, I've heard from. Um, the Zeno Shift Dreadmire campaign for Kickstarter. They've sent out the uh, backers survey, so uh, I'll check my emails when my computer when I finish this and uh, have a look and fill that one in. Um, I only heard about that on my phone, so uh, I don't use my phone for emails and stuff like that. Um, so uh, no Skype kicking in. Um, Yeah, so I usually try to do that using my uh, computer. Um, so that will be filled in very soon. Uh, Nova Atus is uh, not heard. I don't think I've heard anything about that recently. I'll have a. I can't remember. I don't think so. It wasn't Nova Atus anyway. I was thinking of it was Pandemonium. Um, <coughs> They've cleared all one of the stretch goals through, um, like uh, the after sales um, backers. Then you know, like we can pre-order. We give you the chance to pre-order. Well, they've done that with uh, that game, and uh, they've opened up another stretch goal, which is a uh, Chucky uh, miniatures, or oh, miniatures based on not just Chucky from the uh, from the. Uh, Child's Play movies, but uh, it's like a cross between Chucky and Stewie from Family Guy. That's going to be fun. Um, and they're hoping they're going to get the next, or they put a poll up um, for the next stretch goal, which is either going to be Van Helsing based on the Peter Cushing character and uh, The Crow. I've got the um, Van Helsing because, let's face it, Peter Cushing, he is the man, isn't he? Hey? What? You can you can keep your Chuck Norris. 
Peter Cushing's killed Dracula. He's defeated the Hound of the Baskervilles. He's verbally bitch slapped Darth Vader. He's oh, he's been there and done everything. He's, he's I mean, he, he, he's the man himself. So I mean, what more can you say? You know, Peter Cushing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh dear, I've got it on me today. I've had a really good afternoon. I've been doing my show at uh, the hospital radio station. Um, if you ever want to listen in, we do broadcast live on Tinterweb. Um, my shows are 1 till 5 on a Monday afternoon. Uh, that's GMT, obviously. Um, and 1 till 4 on a Thursday. And um, you can listen in to any of those if you go to the uh, Tinterweb, as they say. And... Uh, do a search for w or go to the website www dot as all good websites begin hospital radio writington dot co dot uk I'll put the link in the description below but um, <coughs> <coughs> yeah um, you can listen in by doing that and send me any requests if you wish uh, Thursday afternoons I do, it's two diff, completely different styles of show that I do on Monday and the first hour of the show is classical music the second hour of the show is a theme it's themed so um, it's a day it's been somebody picked uh, Eurovision the Eurovision, so Eurovision Song Contest and what I did is I just took different um, picked different years from each decade that the uh, contest has been running and uh, picked one year out of those decades and played the entry from the host nation and the winner and uh, tried to get people to uh, get in contact to uh, let me know whether they'd guess the, the year and the, uh, the host nation <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed that because it wasn't all the usual Eurovision songs that you'd automatically think of, you know, your Waterloo's by ABBA and uh, what is it, well, depending on what nation obviously you come from but say you, you'd, you'd be thinking of your, um, as I say, Waterloo by ABBA and Brotherhood of Man and uh, Bucks Phase, that kind of thing, it wasn't it wasn't all any of that, quite a lot of it was uh, foreign language um, I think there was only a few that I picked that uh, was English, British or around this area it was um, what was it? Brian Johnson from uh, 1960. Not the Brian Johnson who sings with uh, ACDC, by the way. It was a different Brian Johnson. Um, Johnny Logan who won it for Ireland. I think that was it for the. Shall we say? Local, um, well, local to me, you uh, United Kingdom or Ireland. It was only those that. Uh, I play the actual one, and then of course there was Lordy. I picked, I picked 2006. I've got to pick 2006 for Lordy. The first time a Finnish group won, and the first time a, a rock song did it. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, um, so I've had a really fun afternoon with that. Um, so uh, that was good. And on third, that's that show. <laughs> Um, yeah, so when I'm there, my uh, I go by the name of Stevie B, not Spider. Um, so my Monday afternoon show is the uh, Beehive, and uh, so the first hour is classical music, the second hour is a themed hour, and then uh, it's two hours of basically anything goes. Um, but uh, my Thursday afternoon show is is very very specialised. Uh, it's called the Thursday Connections and uh, start, I start and end the show with three tracks of a featured album um, and then I'll play three tracks, well it's a case of three tracks with uh, an accompanying question, the question being what's the connection 
and they will be connected in any anything they could all be written by the same person or um, the connection is the the names of the songs have something to do with towns in outer Mongolia that kind of thing um, <coughs> some you'll get it very easy some you are quite tricky uh, you know it could all have a, a colour in the title it could all have the word heaven in the title that kind of thing um, you know, it could be, uh, you know, it's, it depends on what, how the way my mind works as to what the connection is. Um, and then we have another section where, what I call the mind, body and soul section where uh, I have, there's a couple of um, like relaxation walkthroughs, you know, where they say, yes, uh, sit down and I'll cross your legs and close your eyes and imagine that this that and the other is going on um you know just to relax you so i'll say it's mind body and soul so for the body for the mind it's a pause for thoughts so one of the chaplaincy team at the hospital has uh, come in and done a, a little piece a couple of minutes um talking about things you know giving you things to think about like the uh what do we call it Oh, I can't think what it was called now. Something on TV it used to have on a Sunday. I think it was. Where they just bring um, like a spiritual message in the map. case of the post of thought. I don't know. Anyway, um, we do that, and uh, so that's for the that's for the mind, and then for the body, it's the relaxation and. For the soul, I always say laughter is the best medicine. So I play an episode of the Bradshaws, which, if you don't know the Bradshaws, it's um, <laughs> it's a Manchester family. Um, Alf is the dad. Oh, I can't think of a name now. Um, then there's his wife and his son Billy. Audrey, Alf, Audrey and Billy Bradshaw. It's just a family of three and they're all performed by Buzz Hawkin who created the characters. They are hilarious. They really, really are hilarious. So if you've never seen the Bradshaws or never heard of the Bradshaws, um, have a look for them. Absolutely hilarious. They're only about five minutes at the most, I think. And it's just a little slice of what life was like in, uh, in, Ma in the Manchester area in the... I think I'd say 50s, 40s, 50s, something like that. Really, really funny. Um, but yeah, well worth a listen. Oh. So that's me. That's my shows on uh, writing some hospital radio. Um, so uh, if you fancy listening, just join us. Uh, that's that. Um, other bits of news, I, uh, I've done a new painting, this, well I've done a new painting since the last episode of uh, Chat and a Big Black Dog, um, it's uh, it's a landscape and it's one I've done, it's very different than what I've usually do, because um, I used water soluble oils, I've used those before, but I've done a landscape using a palette knife and nothing but a palette knife, so it's uh, it's a little different. The picture is here. The full two there for the uh, for the bit, for the uh, painting. I really enjoyed doing this actually. It took it took me about two hours to do from start to finish. In fact, less than two hours. Um, I did this at the art club last Tuesday morning. Really enjoyed it. So I might do some more of those. I've do, I did one already, which was the candle that you may have seen reflected in the mirrors. Um, but that. As I say, is at the uh, infirmary. I still haven't been round to the infirmary yet to uh, see what paintings have been hung. I'm going to have to make a point of nipping down. I'm over that way on Wednesday. Um, I'm taking my ex-wife somewhere, so I'll be dropping her back in town. So I might nip up there and have a nosy. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. So speaking of. Speaking of paintings, I'm hoping to try and get one done on camera for you fairly soon. I want to try and do um, the dolphins again. 
so I think I may have a bash at that one. Um, it's just trying to get a decent camera angle where I'm not um, on, a, on the floor standing easel because I, for something like that I really need something to rest my hands on and my uh, palette's not, well my uh, easel is not ideal but I think I'll, I'll, I will find a way ooh I see look okay. here just killed up on one to opposite to end up couch with his head resting on the end of the couch with his back to me I see, I know, I know where I stand watch what happens when I start doing this here he comes hey <laughs> Yeah, I can sh when he's on the field, I can shout at it. I can shout for him, and that doesn't hear a thing. But rush on a piece of cellophane like that, and he's over like a shot, don't you? Hey, you can hear cellophane a mile away, but you can't see me shouting from the next room. Hey, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so where we are now for oh dear lord. Um, oh, well, as you've seen from my uh, previous video, I've uh, got the legendary Morty Briss figure. I've not started painting it yet, obviously, because they have not got a. Mind you, saying that I could have painted it and filled it and not put it up yet. Um, <clears throat> but uh, that's going to be the last thing for the base set that I paint. Um, We've got the legendary heroes to do and then uh, I'm going to be stopping for a while and going on to other things like I've said before. Um, I will do the legendary Mortigris figure when it comes around to doing the uh, oh, Return of Valandor. Uh, which is I think is only the Valandor figure, the Baal figure and not the legendary Mortigris. I don't think I need the legendary, Mort legendary Mortigris for the base game. But time will tell. I've not looked at it that far. Um, and hopefully we're going to get some uh, organising a night very soon to start on the uh, on the campaign for uh, thingy for Dungeon Saga because um, and I think we're going to be going with um, starting from the very beginning for you know for journey from the east journey from the west kind of thing we're going to be doing those as well because one of the people who are coming which is Ben Scragger's son he hasn't played it at all yet so. I think we'll start. If we're going to start, we might as well do it properly and start right from the very beginning and go through. Hmm? What do you think? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yes. And uh, oh, before I forget, I really want to thank everybody who uh, sent in questions for the Q and A last week. I really enjoyed that one because I got quite a few questions. Um, I think that was one of my that was my favourite Q and A last week because of all the questions I got. So please, 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 keep sending them in because I really do enjoy doing those videos and uh, I look forward to doing them as well. Um, and when I when I only get one or two, uh, it's not as good. In fact, if I only get one question, I won't do a video. But uh, if I only get two or three, it's it's not quite as good. But then again, it all depends again on the question that I'm asked. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, everybody who sent a message in, a, a question from the last week, thank you very much. As I say, it really made the video for me having so many questions. I think it's the first time we've got more than one, um, more than one sheet of paper, which is something. Um, so uh, don't forget the Q and A this week is going to be a little earlier. So if you're going to put some questions in, then you better get them in quick. So the, the way to do that is uh, either um, put them in the comment section for the Q&As. Um, I, I would prefer you to do that than put it in like uh, the comments down in this video because I don't look at them before I actually uh, come to... Um, oh, before I actually come to um, shoot the video and then I'll get them all copy and paste them into a word document and print them off 
because um, <clears throat> I don't like being pre-warned. <laughs> and if, as well, you're sending me a vid uh, question via email, um, then if you would kind ever so kindly uh, just put in the subject bar um, spiders web Q and A. That would be incredibly helpful because I may, if it's something different, I may miss them because I don't actually take much notice of anything that goes straight into my junk mail. So uh, if you're going to send me a, if you're going to send me a question via video, via email, um, then send me, or oh, then as I said, put in the subject bar um, spiders web Q and A, and uh, then I can just transfer it into a different folder so I don't delete it and uh, I actually know it's there and I won't look at it then um, because I know I got one uh, yesterday um, which I almost deleted and I rec recognised the name um, and that was uh, oh Kel the Postman I think it is <laughs> I usually don't bother I, I usually I always say if you email me I won't give your name out but he's already said that uh, he doesn't mind me giving his name out so fine and dandy I think it's Kel the Postman something like that anyway he asked me about Lord of the Rings last week so uh, yeah um, I'll show you my, uh, my Lord of the Rings excuse me I'll show you my Lord of the Rings boots as well on the when we talk about it next, um, which will be on Thursday, because uh, yeah, it'll be on Thursday in the Q and A. I would have done it now, but uh, I started doing the video and I really can't be bothered moving now. <laughs> ah well, blah 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 blah. Um, so. Oh, is there anything else I wanted to say? I can't remember. I can't remember. Remember, I can't. It's been one of those days. It's. Been, I've it, yeah. I've didn't have any sleep at all last night. I was still awake at six o'clock this morning. Um, seven o'clock. He decided he was going to start whinging, so I got up and nipped out with him. Got back in. Sat on the sat on here. And fell asleep. It was half past half past eleven when I woke up. Um, sorry, no, half past ten when I woke up. So it was a case of r rush, 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 getting him out to make sure he's uh, doing whatever he needs to do because I uh, I do my show from one o'clock till uh, till five and didn't really want to leave him that long. So. Uh, e. In fact, I don't think it. I think it was later than that. I think it was about eleven o'clock when I woke up. Um, because I knew I didn't have much time. <laughs> now, usually, when it's like that, I go out on the field across the road from me, and we see everybody, and he just wants to play. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I usually go to. Uh, Seeing an eaters on a Tuesday, where we see an eater, or where Steve runs a, an RPG game, and there's an eater, Scragger, me, uh, Ben Scragger's son, and one of Ben's mates, Niall, and uh, Ron Pair taking a role playing game. We've been doing that for a few months now. Um, but uh, Scragger can't make it tomorrow, and uh, I'm sure one of the others can't make it tomorrow, so. We're going to give it a break tomorrow night, so I'm toying with the idea of going watching Deadpool. I'm really, I really want to go and watch that. <laughs> and while I've got the chance, I might as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'll tell you more about that when I, uh, if I do, if I do go to see it, I'll tell you what I thought of it in another video. Um, but hopefully, it is as funny, it is as funny, and as good as the trailer show. I only have been told by a few different people that it is a really good film, so it is one I really want to go and watch. Mm. Um, I 
think. Brrr. I think that's about everything. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's hopefully. I mean, I'm saying I'm saying this now, but hopefully. Um, there might be uh, a change to my circumstances very soon. Um, I've been chatting to somebody online. I have met her, um, but I've been chatting with somebody online, and uh, we're going out in a couple of weeks. Um, there's a oh dear God, what do you call it? Um, there's a oh dear a medium it's like a medium coming to the, the club across the way from me and I've tickets to go and see and uh, well she's been no she's wanting to go and see him and uh, I went for a private set last year with my daughter and he's really good um, and uh, hopefully Not saying anything more yet because I don't really want to tempt fate, but uh, hopefully things might change fairly soon. Well, not fairly soon, but I don't want to be rushing into things for a change. Um, but uh, as I said, I don't really want to talk too much about it. Tempt fate and all that. Um, but uh, hopefully things will change. <laughs> For the better so uh, we'll see how things go but on that note of going uh, I think I'm going to have to because I think that's all I can think of for this episode um, join me next week when there'll be more rubbish about it um, oh before I forget yes um, next on Friday uh, I mentioned it on uh, during my Q&A session on Friday. Uh, on Friday we'll be going down visiting a friend of mine, Karina, who I have mentioned a few times on here. Um, she's the author of the, uh, what are you doing? The Outlaw series of books, uh, The Biker Gang. Um, my mind has gone complete blank. Road Rage, Huntress, um, um, uh, I hate it when that happens. There's Road Rage, Huntress, in no specific order. Uh, no, it's gone. Completely. I'll put the covers of the books up here so you'll see them. Oh, I'll just say it's been a long day for me, my brain is completely ready for shutting down. Um, anyway, what I was saying was uh, she's coming over from uh, Corfu and spending a week over here with the family uh, for certain reasons which I don't really want to go into. Um, so uh, on Friday, I'm going to take some time to get down there. I'll be taking my camera with me and my uh, little phone that I use for my uh, microphone to record the audio and um, I'll be doing a an interview with her in regards to her being self-published and this that and the other. Uh, also about well, see what we can do uh, about different things but um, Oh dear. So I'm going to be doing that and uh, the video one will be put up here on the channel and uh, the audio I'm going to be uh, putting onto MP3 and putting on the system at the um, at the hospital so uh, people can hear that as well because it may give somebody inspiration in, so, in some way, shape or form to get their work published. Um, but we'll see how that goes as well. 
anyway that's as I say it from me um, so uh, until next time whenever that may be uh, well, I know for definite it's going to be uh, Thursday evening when I do my Q&A session um, but uh, who knows what will happen during the course of the next couple of days but whenever it will be until then <laughs> take care, God bless and bye for now